In the series of CDM interview questions, we are discussing question number 14. Interviewer may ask you what is SDV, which is source data verification. First, you can explain what is source document. So these are created by the site to match protocol requirements. These are very first place that the data is captured. So these are the documents where you collect the data for the first time, where you record the data for the first time. These are the original documents. The source data must be accurate, attributable, legible, original, complete. See the examples. We have so many source documents lab reports, patient medical records, diaries, ECG, questionnaires, pathology reports, X-ray reports, physician notes, nurse notes, electronic diaries. So basically when you're collecting the data on the case report forms, we will collect the data on the case report forms from the source documents. So when you're capturing the data from the source documents, we need to definitely verify the data that is collected on the CRF, is it consistent with the source documents? And the CRF data is complete, consistent with the source documents. So the concept is called source data verification. So source data verification is a process of ensuring the data that is reported for the analysis accurately reflect the source data, which is available at the clinical trial site. So this comparison has to be done to ensure that the data that is collected are reliable and allow reconstruction and evaluation of the clinical trial. So source data verification is nothing but comparing source data against the CRF data. So it should fulfill the E6 guidelines. So in E6, we have ICH, GCP, good clinical practice. So the requirements of accuracy, completeness, verifiability from the source documents. The source data verification predominantly detects random errors, which will have impact on the results of the clinical trials. So in overall, SDV means source data verification, verifying the data, which is entered, captured on the CRF with the source documents. If you have any questions, you can ask in the comment section. Thank you for watching this video. See you in the next video.